actually, in fact, this is this is this actually leads me on to quite an interesting, uh, I guess, an interesting uh, talk. I say interesting. You might find it interesting. You might not. But um, generally, we trade divergences, right? So you have to be aware of this. I've mentioned this many times before, but I think I'll mention it again. Generally, when, when, when a central bank is hiking rates and another one is cutting rates, that is probably the best trade you can have, yeah, when it comes to divergences. That will either lead to, you know, strong downtrends or strong uptrends, yeah? That's pretty much what that will lead to. Now, you can have, you have situations where banks will, so this is hiking, this is holding, and this is cutting, yeah? banks will look to potentially hold rates, right? And this is probably the second best trade you can have where you have a bank that's high, you buy the one that's hiking rates and you sell the one that's holding rates, yeah? So the whole hiking rates is always like to appreciate their currency, yeah? But there is a time, there is there there is uh, there are moments where you will have a bank that is, looking to now strengthen their currency. So for years, the, the Bank of Japan and the Swiss National Bank were, um, and the Euro, matter of fact, were, were, you know, wanting to devalue their currency, right? But now you're getting those banks are looking to now, because of inflation and rising inflation, they're looking to uh, potentially high rates. So what would that mean on a price chart? So it means that the the you know when you see rather than seeing a potentially strong trend yeah let's say for example dollar let's go back to the dollar yen right let's say for example in this day in history the the um the bank of japan governor karuda comes out and he st- and he literally says now i'm looking to high crates yeah what do you think is going to happen to the dollar yen in in in, in price what do you think will happen If Karuda, the Bank of Japan, says, yeah, we're going to get the, the mark, the Bank of Japan, yeah, says, comes out today or tomorrow and says, we are going to look to high crates. The market, yeah, and you're right, yeah, a stronger yen, right? The, the market has to then price in, yeah, because this is price, yeah, has to price in what the the yen's valuation with a potential rate hike yeah so although the the dollar we know the dollar is 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 king at the moment right it is the king it's got the crown yeah that's a crown the yen is making a comeback which means that bef- in this day in history yeah before oh, i was a nice crown okay i was going to put some jewels on it as well um there we are some diamonds some stars Anyways, uh, <laughs> so um, so in this day in history today, yeah, the 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 market is pricing in um, the 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 valuation of, of of what they think the dollar yen is, right? So at the moment it's pulled back a bit, so it's probably worth between you know what is it one two five, yeah, and one at, where was it? Was it one twenty? I think it was like 120 or 121, something like that. There was maybe about four or 500 pips, yeah? So again, that's an auction, right? But if the if if Karuda comes out tomorrow and says, we're looking to high crates, the market then has to decide and say, oh, well, yesterday, yeah, we thought that the, the, the yen was valued at this price. But now the yen has to be valued probably somewhere here because the yen has to get what stronger right it has to be valued maybe between the 118 and the 112 who knows yeah 118 and maybe 112 113 what's wrong with me today right so it doesn't mean it, it doesn't mean that you know the dollar is 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 the weaker out of the two or 116 yeah and you're absolutely right, Alexander. You buy the rumor, right? So you're buying the rumor. The market has to then price in. It has to price in 
what Karuda and what the, uh, the, 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 the yen's valuation, if they go from 0.1 or sorry, minus 0.1% to zero, for example. Well, it depends on how much he's, if he's extra hawkish and saying that he might go to, you know, maybe 0.1%, right? Who knows? But the point being is that the market then has to price that in. Yeah. Doesn't mean that the fundamentals don't work. It just means that the, the, you know, the, the, the valuation um, has to be readjusted because new information has come in about the valuation and future valuation of the yen. Does that all make sense, guys? Yeah. So rather than, for example, prices diverging as they as they were, yeah, what you're what you're having is is actually prices are starting to converge. Yeah, you have a converging. Well, actually, converging is more like this, right? Where you have you know a a, a, a strong currency or an appreciated currency that generally is going to get weaker and a weak currency that goes stronger, right? But the gap between, you know, at one point it was quite wide. Now the gap between them actually is smaller. Between the between the divergences, which then, like I said, plays itself out like this. Yeah. So there's opp there are opportunities. I don't like taking that type of trade personally. Just me, just 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 me, you know, and, and my personal bias. Don't like taking that type of trade. There are traders that do and that can and that will. Good luck to you, right? That is an opportunity, and I wouldn't say not to do it. I can't tell you what to do with your hard-earned money. Or, but what I can say is, is that that is a trade idea. Because like I said, in this day in history, the market is valuing the, 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 the dollar yen at that with the information that it has. As soon as that information changes, yeah, then how can, how can the, 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 the dollar yen be valued at this price or around that price if, for example, the, the, the yen is now looking to... They're looking to appreciate their currency. It can't be. It can't stay up here. And it won't stay up there. They have to revalue that currency. So it's a constant balance and revaluing that needs to go on. And the only way that we know that these things are going to happen is obviously by understanding inflation, interest rates. And as long as you've got, you know, and GDP. And if you are, as long as you understand that, that relationship, then you'll always be fine. You will always be okay. Will you win every single trade? No, of course not. Because no one knows the exact, you know, no one can always predict the exact point of where the market is going to turn. It's, it's impossible, right? But we know the general direction of travel that prices should go in if we understand the bigger picture. Yeah. So yeah, very interesting talk. And uh, I wasn't planning on, on doing that, but it makes sense when you look at, um, the uh, the Citibank uh, analysis. So, looking at Citibank, nothing really has changed. Um.